Okay, we are now in part three of a four-part series on creating and managing database queries in Excel. In this session, we're going to talk about some of the formulas that we can use in Excel to create, in our example, an aging report using mass information. Now you've seen that in part two, we pulled information from our AP vendor table, our vendor number and vendor name, and information from our AP open invoice table, namely the invoice number, date, invoice due date, invoice amount, and balance. Now, if you wanted to browse this information to find out who in your system currently has a balance, you can certainly in Excel use the filtering capabilities and you could see that in our balance column we can filter out any vendors who have a zero balance simply by unchecking an invoice balance of zero and now you'll find that these vendors have these invoice balances in column H and if we wanted to see what our current aging looks like we can go all the way to the bottom we can hit auto sum and we see that our aging for our company now sits at four hundred nineteen thousand eighty seven dollars and sixty cents but we're actually going to go a step further and we're going to create a report that we can use on a consistent basis so a couple of ta a couple of pieces of information that I don't see is our number of days outstanding and our aging categories. So we're going to go ahead and create those two columns. The first one is our number of days. You can see that as I create the column adjacent to our table it appends this information to our table which is nice because as we refresh our table and if you remember next time we come into Excel we can right click and hit refresh and that will pull in the most recent information and in mass onto our table any formulas we have adjacent to our table will automatically get populated as well so let's go ahead and create a formula to determine how many days our invoices are outstanding. We're going to use a formula that looks at today's date. So we're going to do equal today, open parentheses, close parentheses, minus our invoice date. And you'll notice once I hit accept, it auto fills the entries. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to turn that what looked like a date field into a number field. And now we'll kind of sample that this invoice is 47 days outstanding. And so on. So you can see a simple formula now, now gives us our number of days outstanding. Now we're going to bring over one last column, our aging categories. This is going to tell us if our invoices are current over 30 days, 60, 90, and 120. And again, you can tailor this to whatever aging categories you have in your company. So we're going to first create another column called Agent Category. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to create a table, maybe a lookup table, that looks at these values and returns based on these values if they are current over 30 days, 60, 90, and 120. So off to the right somewhere, I'm going to create a lookup table. I'm going to call this aging days and aging category. My aging days are 
are going to look something like this. And now I'm going to give some definition that anything between 0 and 30 days is current. We're going to give some further definition to the other values. So now we have a lookup table that we can refer our column I to to determine what our aging categories should be for each record. So I'm going to create a formula. It's a VLOOKUP formula. So it's equal VLOOKUP, open parentheses, and a point to the cell right next to it. I'm going to hit comma. I'm now going to refer to the table, my lookup table, and I'm going to lock it. So I'm going to hit F4. So our two dollar signs now lock this table in place. So as our formula gets carried over through the rest of the records, it looks at the, its consistent table. I'm going to now type a comma. I'm going to look for column number two of our lookup table. And I'm going to try and find not the exact match, but the approximate match, because I'm going to have days that aren't exactly 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, but are approximately or in that range. Close parentheses. And you're going to see now how my VLOOKUP went to the lookup table and returned position number two of our lookup table based on what it found in the number of days outstanding. In our next session we're going to conclude our four-part session by creating a pivot table which is going to create an aging report using this information.